What's going on everybody? Dina here. It's been a while since I've been on a video. Got an update on the garage. Show you guys what's going on. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so everybody knows that my uh, S10 is a step side. And this is a step side bed. Well, this is what I found out recently. Those brackets for the extreme side skirts are completely rusted out and falling apart. When uh, they painted it black, this is actually a blue bed. And I guess the previous owner found it, replaced it, put a blue bed on it. Well, they put the extreme fender flares on it and never painted the original uh, wheel wells or wheel fender liners or fenders or whatever it's called they straight up painted put them on and painted it up to the fender flare alone right then I found that rust there and this rusting out here this brace. This rusting out here. This rusted up really bad. It gets worse. The, the other side rusted badly. Falling apart. Completely rusted apart. It's falling apart. So then I found this surface rust here. And when I took this fender flare off, this is also still blue, which means they just slap the fender flares on and paint them. Then you see a surface rust here, but it's actually deeper. This is falling apart. Go down. Yep. Look at this. Completely rusted out. Like I really believe this was rusted out, and they just put the fender flare over it. And then this side of the bracket is completely rusted out. So I'm really not a fan of rust. I just got, I said screw it. What I did was I got myself a fleet side bed. Now this one has its depths and dings. Got, got dents on this side. Got a couple dents here. Oh, you did there. I can pop that out easily. This is rusted. But it's not as bad as the other one. I'm starting to get some surface rust here. But these are, these have been treated for rust, so they're not that bad. Starting to get some surface rust in here. The inside of that bed is all beat up too, but we've got some surface rust here. This panel, I don't know if you can see it, but when I got it, this panel was completely bent over this way. And I'll pull some pictures up here. I'll show you what that was like. And I started beating it back. I got it somewhat decent. I can probably beat it some more and get it somewhat straight to where I only have to put maybe a quarter inch of filler on it. It'll be good. It's got a jet here. This is still tweaked that way. I do need one of these bars for up here. That'll straighten that out. Goes here to here. But it had an ugly, ugly, ugly dent right here. And it's completely gone. I beat it back. I beat it back and completely gone. I did used to do body work before, so I know what it's like. And I got a, uh, a 
tailgate for this one also. And I picked that up. They wanted $300 for it. Picked it up for 140 bucks. Here's the S10. Got some new wheels. Not really sure if I'm gonna keep those or not, but look. What's up? Now it's 2020, clear as tile, legs is clear as day, no longer move around and fully laid out this side is lower and what I realized was that when I welded the shock mount on this side it's higher than the other side so I'm gonna have to cut that shock mount out and hold it up I got the third rolls kit the fork kit or Y kit, whatever it is they call it. Definitely keep my stock fuel tank. I'll leave them out. Evac canister on it. I just gotta drill a hole so I can bolt up the exhaust there. Bags are all welded in. Shock mounts, both sides. I made that table to hold the tank and the compressors. <laughs> All I have to do is uh, run the wiring for all the electrical wiring to the front, to the battery. You guys think I should keep it the S10 black? Or I should paint it a different color? Because the bed is white. So I'm gonna have to paint the bed. Do all the body work to the bed. Paint the tailgate. Now, what's left to paint of the truck? Just the cab, doors, fenders, and hood. It, should, it wouldn't be that much more, you know? But, what do you guys think? Let's see, I'll bring her up. 